and welcome to the first Knitting Pastor vlogcast of 2020 and a new decade. So I want to say welcome to all of you who are joining me for the first time and welcome back to all of you who are coming back again. Uh, my name is Heather and I am a United Methodist pastor of two small member congregations in rural mid-Michigan and um, what I do here is um, I just kind of vlog my knitting, um, parts of my ministry, parts of my daily life with my two children. Um, I have a daughter, Abby, who is 14, and I have a nine-year-old son named Philip. And we live in a parsonage, which is a home owned by one of my churches um, with our Rhodesian Ridgeback Flint. Um, I am starting this vlog off a little bit later this year than I originally intended because I have been sick and you may be able to tell from my voice. Um, Abby came back from her dad's with a cold um, after Christmas and if you watched any of if you watched my last vlogmas I will have talked about this a little bit and I came down with her cold um, right about New Year's Day um, I started to come down with it and it has turned into bronchitis and a bit of pneumonia. So I am pretty sick. I am still battling, battling it. I may have to edit out coughing. So this will probably be a somewhat short introduction because I will start coughing and my voice is already pretty weak and I get tired out really easily. So I've got some medicine to try to like help me get through this, but I'm pretty I've been pretty down all week, and it's not a whole lot better. So now that the doctor even told me to find someone to cover for my churches on Sunday, so I have done that. Um, I don't think I said what day it is. Today is Friday, January 10th, 2020. There, that's what day it is. Um, so if this is a little bit scatterbrained here at the beginning, I apologize because I am really not well. Um, but I did want to at least start something. Uh, with the vlogs this this year. Um, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, what this is, is um, I call it a vlogcast because it's not a formal podcast. I don't really have the extra time to sit down and edit a full podcast. So what I do instead is I just do vlogs throughout the week, short little videos, and compile it all together at the end into one vlogcast. I do like to sit down at the beginning and the end of the week to just kind of go over my knitting and how things have been going, and that's one way to kind of show off what my projects have been. So I do want to say that for those of you who watched through Vlogmas, I did finish my habitation throw. However, I finished it on New Year's Day and I've been feeling so poorly that I have not blocked it or done anything with the ends. But it is done, or cast off anyway. I do need to finish that. I'm hoping that maybe this weekend I will feel a little bit better and up to doing that. Because it doesn't sound like much, but sometimes laying things out and blocking them can be kind of tiring. So I did cast on, though, a pair of socks with the full skein that I got in my Advent set, which was called Nagini. Um, for those of you who did not watch my Vlogmas, um, I got an advent calendar from Nicole of Hugh Loco, the Harry Potter uh, one, and it came with a full skein of yarn at the end. So I decided to cast on a pair of socks with that full skein. And here is the one sock that I have finished so far. Uh, the colorway is called Nagini, and these are Cookie A's Monkey Socks. And I have to say, I really like how it has knit up because it kind of looks like snake skin. Um, I don't know if you can really see it very well, but it definitely has that texture to it and it just makes me think of, of a snake skin. So I followed this pretty true to pattern. Um, I did do a fish lips kiss heel instead of a heel flap and gusset and I did a rounded toe. Um, the second one I have just cast on. I'm not 
pretty far with it at all. Um, but here is what I have left. This is a lot less than I would normally have because I already I knit some of this into my habitation throw. So I've already used some of this yarn and that probably about 15 grams went into my habitation throw. So that's why this is a little bit smaller than what it would normally be for just having done one sock. The other thing that I have had going, and I started this uh, at the end of the year last year, and this is just a pair of vanilla socks with some Knit Picks Felici. The colorway is called Captain Nemo, and I just put in a heel. So um, I've got the leg done, and I've done the heel, and I did a Fish Lips Kiss heel, and I am doing a contrasting color for the heels, cuffs, and toes. Um, so these are ready to go for if we go to a movie, which we were going to go see Star Wars, but that didn't happen, and that's not going to happen until I can stop coughing. So um, those are ready to go for, for a movie. Um, I've been working on the monkey socks this week as the kids are back at school and at the bus stop because they're socks, and it's a really easy pattern to memorize. So um, that doesn't take a whole lot out of it. So that is what I have been working on. Um, I do think I would like to show you my progress on my Cozy Memories blanket and my um, Granny Strike blanket, but that's too do hard to do to hold up, so I need to lay that out to show that. So um, I will probably insert the Cozy Memories after this video because I want to work on some of those squares, I think. And I'd like to show it to you as like, this is where I was at the end of 2019. So that is all for right now. And I will check in with you guys. Um, well, I'll show you the blanket and then I'll probably check in tomorrow. Talk to you then. So here is my Cozy Memories blanket, all spread out on my table, which kind of works nicely. Um, I started squaring it off last year. Um, and I've continued the stair step pattern. And I figured this is about how wide I want it to be, but I can make it as long as I want. And the nice thing with the Cozy Memories blanket is that you can add on at any point that you want to. So looking here, this is where um, last year's advent calendar kind of ended. So can see the cozy memories blanket it's grown quite a bit hello everyone it's saturday january 11th and we are in the middle of a storm a winter storm we got a ton of rain last night you can kind of see there's like a lake in our backyard back there and now the temperature has dropped significantly and it has turned to freezing rain which you're kind of starting to see a little here on my porch um it's supposed to get pretty bad. We're supposed to get quite a bit of ice and then snow on top of it. So I'm not going anywhere today. I wouldn't have been going anywhere today anyway because I'm still getting over this nasty, nasty, nasty cold. Um, but I'm wondering if my churches will even be in tomorrow because I'm not going to be there and if this happens the way they're saying it's going to happen, it's going to be really bad out. So I will keep you updated on how this lovely winter storm is progressing. So it's about 4.30 now, and I wanted to do just like one last quick video before we lose the light and you can't really tell. Um, there is definitely starting to be some ice forming on the trees and whatnot. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, but yeah, we're starting to get more ice. There's still a lot of water that hasn't really frozen yet. It's kind of teetering right on um, the edge of freezing, but things are definitely pretty, pretty icy and pretty slick. Uh, one of my churches called off service already. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the other church, but... Um, it is slick. Flint was slipping on the deck when he went outside. And um, yeah, so here is our progress. I won't be able to show you anymore tonight because it's going to get dark in a 
not too much longer, but I'll show you in the morning. Good morning. It's Sunday, January 12th, and this is kind of how we're looking post winter storm. There is not a lot of snow, um, but there is definitely a layer of ice under everything. I don't know. I don't, you probably can't see very well um, the ice on the trees. But there is definitely a coating of ice everywhere. I have not tried to venture out. I don't plan to try to venture out at all um, because I'm still feeling pretty poorly. So we are we are icy and crusty. Um, there's a good layer of snow down on top of stuff. So like Flint wasn't slipping when he went outside or anything like that. But the roads are pretty slick. I'm not seeing very many cars go by. I think a truck went by with some salt, but... Yeah, here is our aftermath of So this normally week. I would not show you my bathroom, but I wanted to show you tonight. Philip came home and he wanted to take a bath. And I said, okay, that's fine. And then he took a bath and got in bed. And I came to go to the bathroom before I went to bed. And this is what I found in my bathroom. So this is what it's like to have a nine-year-old boy. Um, I have a Godzilla who is keeping watch over his shampoo, I guess. Um, a Baryonyx Lego from the Jurassic World Legos. And then there's Yoda's fighter from Star Wars. Now I can only imagine the scene that played out in the tub with these three objects. Good morning, guys. Um, it's Monday morning, January 12th, and um, I'm kind of trying to get back into the swing of things this week and have more of a normal week. Um, I still do not feel great. Um, I'm probably at about 50%, um, but I need to kind of start getting back into the swing of everything. So, um, I put Philip on the bus and I've come back home and I had a shower, um, which tires me out, but I thought that it would help at least make me feel a little fresher going into this Monday morning. And um, <clears throat> I am back to um, just kind of trying to return to life as normal, um, but slowly because I'm afraid that if I do too much, I'm gonna relapse a little bit. I did quite a bit on Saturday, probably more than I should have. And so yesterday I was really tired. Um, and my cough has changed a little bit, which I hope I mean is, think that it's improving. Um, but I've been coughing a little bit more the last day or so. So this has really been not a very fun, fun journey with this super cold and I call it a super cold because it turned from a cold into bronchitis and um, a bit of pneumonia so um, but I am kind of starting to recover I am starting to feel better I'm starting to feel more normal but the thing I need to be careful of is now that I'm starting to feel better not to act like I haven't been sick because my body is still pretty worn down from that so I plan to just keep this week relatively low-key um, and try not to overdo it and allow myself time to rest if I need time to rest. So this morning I have been able to get a little bit of work done. I went back through and I reviewed um, the worship service that one of my churches did yesterday. The other church canceled because of the ice um, and then this church they still met but I had a lay speaker fill in. I got interrupted by a phone call and I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, anyway, so it's kind of back to trying to get back to normal this week and take it, take it slow and try to rest. Um, today, I don't have anything during the day, so I'm going to try and get some work done. I'm going to try and get my message written for Sunday. I have it all outlined. Um, I just have to put it all together. And then um, I this evening or this afternoon... Abby has a dentist appointment, so I'm going to pick up the kids from that, and Abby's varsity jacket is ready, so we're going to go and get that after I get her from school, 
and then take her over to the dentist. And then this evening, she has what's called a master class, um, and that's for band for the solo and ensemble kids. So they, um, if you're not familiar with, with this, one of the, so each year there is band festival and it's where middle school and high school bands compete basically for how well they perform a piece. So that happens on a yearly basis and they all kind of come together in a region and they're judged by professional judges. Well, that's the entire band together. But then there is what they call solo and ensemble, which is smaller groups or individuals that prepare a piece and then they play it for a judge. And Abby decided this year that she wanted to do solo and ensemble this winter. So um, she is doing a solo piece with an accompanist who happens to be one of my accompanists from churches, from one of my churches. Um, And they're having their master class tonight Uh, which goes from six to nine and um, basically what they do is they perform their piece for a judge kind of as like a practice run and then um, then they they also watch each other so that goes from six to nine I don't have to be there for that I'm just gonna drop her off and then Philip and I will come home and then I'll go back and get her because that's a long time to sit at something like that so um, there's a strange car going by and pulling in to the neighbors sorry unrelated so that's kind of what's going on tonight so nothing that I need to necessarily be super engaged in but it will probably be tiring anyway because it'll be out and about and running around um I have been working on my monkey sock um with my nagini colorway I've put the heel in on the second sock um, and I'm starting now on the foot, so I think I will probably have this done this this week because these do knit up pretty quickly, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and I've also put um, a couple of squares in my cozy memory blanket, which I'm sitting on, which is going to tip the camera a little bit. So I put in, I started putting in my advent calendar from this year. So I put in this colorway, which was called Expecto Patronum. And then this one, which is a a Pipsky. Um, And this is a Stellino, which you can't really see in the camera. And then I've started a third one, which is Gryffindor. Um, So I thought that I would just work on getting those put in and kind of get my advent calendar taken care of. Now I have babbled enough and I need to get some work done a little bit this morning. So I'm going to sign off for now and I will talk to you all later. Let's take a minute and show you guys my finished habitation throw. I just have kind of tossed it on the table so it's not like laid out very well. Um, But yeah, here is how it has turned out. Um, Because I did kind of start running out of like, I had more to go than I had yarn. I knit this one a little bit longer than some of the other ones. And then this is the Nagini colorway. And then I knit about 15 grams of that. And then I added in the Christmas at Hogwarts from Molly of a Homespun House to finish it off. So it's got a little bit of an addition in there, Um, but apart from that, it is all the 2019 advent calendar, the Harry Potter one from Hugh Loco. It's not really this curvy, it's just the way the blanket is laying at the moment. Um, I did decide to block it, which evened things out and kind of loosened things up a little bit. Um, But yeah, there it is, and I I am pretty happy with it. Good morning. So it's Thursday now, January 16th. Um, And I haven't recorded for a couple of days because I was starting to feel a little bit better and then the cold kind of resurfaced. And um, I didn't do much on Tuesday. I was at home and I did just a lot of work for message preparation. So I made some good progress there. Um, And I had a meeting Tuesday night. And I think the meeting just like it did something because I started coughing a whole lot. I coughed all night on Tuesday and then yesterday on Wednesday I was just like dead. Um, So I didn't really do much yesterday. The only thing that we really did is Abby had um, just her normal appointment with a pediatrician. So we went to that 
and then um, Philip had swim lessons in the evening and um, what was really nice is that Abby's diving coach coaches the boys team but then also the middle school team and they were having practice at the same time that Phil had lessons and so her diving coach let her get on the boards and do some dives which was really good because she hasn't really been on the boards in about two months um, so she was able to do that and that was really good next week she's going to I think she's going to start um, diving with a club team um, that will keep her going and help her hone her skills and maybe even um, you know see some improvements next year so that might be happening next week I am feeling quite a bit better today the cough isn't as bad um, I still am getting really tired pretty easily but um, I do feel better in general uh, yeah so that's good and I wanted to because I haven't recorded anything in a couple of days I just wanted to pop on in and check in I did finish my monkey socks which I don't have out here with me but I will show those tomorrow and then I had like this dilemma of like I don't know what to cast on next um, I have some things that I would like to knit I have some sweaters I would like to knit but I don't have the yarn on hand to knit those and I was definitely not well enough to like go to my local yarn shop and purchase yarn so I was like what am I gonna do so what I did is I went into my Ravelry queue and I used a random number generator to pick out a pattern and the pattern that showed up was the jelly rolls which are these socks by um, Mara Brenner they're just little short ankle socks I think she also did the um, Rose City rollers so that's a free pattern and you might be familiar with that but these are like a two color sock that's kind of a bit of color work which I thought it's some really basic color work and I thought that it might be a good way to kind of get started with color work because it's something that I would like to do so I cast those on yesterday and this is I just have the first color cast on so far um, I've got a little bit more to knit before I do the second color um, so this is the first color, which is from um, Connie of Chili Knits um, in her strong sock base, and this colorway is called Sea Glass. I ordered this yarn a while ago, and I don't know if it's still a color that she carries. Um, and then the second color is this color, which is left over from the Comfort, no, not Comfort, the So Faded pullover that I knit for Abby. Um, and this is from Molly of a Homespun House. This is one of her Harry Potter Club colorways called um, She Spilled Her Secrets to an Invisible Stranger. So I think that these are going to be a really good like contrast for the socks. So this will be most of the sock and then this will kind of be like the contrast to the sock. So yeah, so those will be, I think those will be fun. And I think they'll be a quick knit. Um, that kind of allows me to get some sweaters quantities worth of yarn um, to knit some sweaters that I would like to knit. One is a Love Note by Tin Can Knits and I have a gift certificate to my local yarn shop that I could um, use to purchase some of that. So that's what I am working on now that my monkey socks are done. And I also put a couple of squares in my, or not my granny stripe, my cozy memory blanket from the advent calendar from this year. The other thing that I got that's not knitting related, but I'm kind of excited about it. I was reading this book um, for a sermon series that I am going to be doing, and the guy that wrote it is, uh, he's kind of a mega church pastor, and um, his resources are available for sermon series and whatnot, and so I use some of them and I have to tailor them a little bit to fit with my theology and Methodist theology but it's good stuff so I was reading one of his books and he talked about um, journaling and how like writing a full page journal every day is a lot and he got something called a five-year journal that he was using as like a prayer journal and I thought that was a really good idea so I went on Amazon and I ordered one so this is what I got um, it says some lines a day and it's a five-year journal 
and I'm going to try to use it as a prayer journal myself. Um, I'm going to show you what the inside looks like. So you have each day like printed on the top like this one is like July, July 6th. And then you have space to write for five years on that day. So like this would be 2020 and 2021, 22, 23, 24. And then, you know, the first year as you're filling it in, you know, there's not really anything to look back on. But then each year as you go, you can look back and see kind of what happened on that day the year before. And in this case, as a prayer journal, I can reflect kind of on some of the things that had been on my mind and that I had been praying about. And I can reflect and see kind of how how things went with that. So um, I am excited. I just got this yesterday. Um, so I'm going to go back and fill in from the first couple of weeks of January because I do have another place that I was jotting this stuff down. Um, but I think that this will be kind of a fun thing to do. And it's not a lot of time and it doesn't require a lot of writing. <clears throat> and I don't have a lot of time. So I thought that would... <laughs> Excuse me. So I thought that that would be that would be a cool thing to do. So this is something that I picked up recently. Now I am going to go um, get some work done. Um, I did finish my sermon for Sunday a little bit later than intended, but with being sick, I'm a little bit behind. So I'm going to try to catch up today and um, still rest because I am still getting tired kind of easily. But at least Sunday's message is done and that makes me able to breathe a little bit easier. So um, that's all I have for now. I will talk to you guys later. So this week seems to be the week of the blanket where I want to kind of show you how um, I've been, my scrappy blankets and whatnot have been coming along. I showed you my cozy memory blanket and the habitation throw that I finished with the advent calendars, but this is my granny stripe blanket, which has really grown quite a bit. Um, it's quite wide. It's wide enough um, to go on a queen size bed, I believe. And you can see it's like just as wide as my couch, just about. Um, and it's getting to be a good length. It probably um, is like three feet long so far. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I've really enjoyed working on it. I like the way like the striping just kind of is random and interesting and you get kind of funny pops of color, but then you get like some cohesiveness, like right here was all yarn from my So Faded pullover, so that kind of fades, um, and then this was like a mini skein set, so it kind of fades and then there's just like pops of other color, like the neon, um, and there, so it's just kind of a fun blanket. It's quite warm when I'm working on it, which is kind of nice, um, but yeah, this is... This is the Granny Stripe Blanket. Hello everyone, today is Friday, January 17th, and um, I wanted to just take a few minutes here this morning and wrap up the vlog for the week. Um, the kids only have a half day of school today, so um, I'm recording this in the morning so that I can just kind of get everything wrapped up um, and can work on getting things uploaded uh, this afternoon and evening. So. Yeah, I wanted to just pop on and um, get this wrapped up. Um, I am feeling better. I feel much more normal today. Um, I still, the cough is still lingering a little bit, but I'm feeling better. Um, was kind of tired this morning. Um, didn't have the greatest night because Flint decided at like two in the morning to be weird. I don't know what his deal was. He wanted to go outside and then he was like all weird. So I'm not sure what was up with that. So today, like I said, the kids have a half day. Um, Abby is going to uh, rehearse with her accompanist for a solo and ensemble, which is next weekend, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. Um, so we have to go do that after I get Philip from the bus. Uh, one of the things, I find half days of school to be really kind of annoying, actually. And I don't know for those of you who have children in school if this is the same way for you. I find them to be annoying because, one, they're not in school very long. And so I feel like they even really get anything done on a half day. Like, what's the point? And then as far as, like, from a parent standpoint, it doesn't give you a lot of time to, like, do anything. Um, 
because you have to go get them. And if you are a parent who works, then you're making arrangements for what are, what are your kids doing after school. So I just find half days to be rather irritating. Um, and today is no exception. <laughs> um, because I haven't been feeling well, you know, just having a day to kind of relax would have been nice, but that's not happening. So the joys of parenthood. <laughs> Anyway, before I have to go and get them, I did want to show you um, kind of how my knitting has been has been going. I did show you this week um, my three blankets, uh, the two that are in progress, and who knows how long those will be in progress, and then the habitation throw that I worked on for my advent knitting. I did finish my monkey socks, which I'm going <coughs> to... Oops. I'm going to real quickly pop onto sock blockers here so that you can see them um, because the way that the pattern is it's kind of hard to really look at them uh, if they're not on a sock blocker because the way the stitches are kind of make it bunch up a little bit anyway so these are my monkey socks um, this is a pattern by cookie a it is a free pattern on Ravelry for one particular size and then um, you can purchase it for additional sizes um, so here they are. The colorway that I used was from my Harry Potter advent calendar. It was the full skein that I got on the 25th, and it's from Hue Loco, and the colorway is called Nagini. And I have to say, I think that um, the way the pattern is, and when you think about <clears throat> the name of the colorway, they have a very snake skin kind of look and feel to them. Um, which I think worked out really, really well. So these are done. This is my first FO of the new decade, the new year. Um, so yeah, these are these are done. And then I was really, I, I told you this yesterday, I was just struggling on what I wanted to cast on next. And I ended up going with a pair of jelly rolls. And I'm going to show you my progress on those. So jelly roll socks. They're a shorty sock um, that's got some color work elements to it. Uh, they're very fun looking, but they've been a little bit fiddly. So here is my progress. I've got my, my rolls done, and I've done my heel, um, which is a color work heel. And I have done the heel term, and I just finished knitting the gusset. So I tried it on my foot. So the other thing with these is they have kind of a, like a cinched in portion on the foot itself. And I tried it on my foot because I wanted to see where exactly I wanted that to be because I envisioned that kind of cinched in portion being kind of in the arch of your foot. And like, you know, kind of like right in here, basically. and. I wanted to see where it was after I finished the gusset. And I'm not quite to the arch of my foot, so I think that I might knit a couple of rounds in stockinette before I start that part of the of the sock. So these are this knit like super fast, like I knit most of this yesterday. Um, so these are I think it's going to be a quick little thing while I kind of figure out what I want to do next. The colors that I'm using, I believe I mentioned yesterday, but in case I didn't, this is the main color that's most of the sock. This is from Molly of a Homespun House. This is one of her Harry Potter colorways called She Poured, She Spilled Her Secrets to an Invisible Stranger. And then this brighter, um, kind of I don't know what color you would call that. Seafoam, maybe? Is from Chili Knits. Um, and the colorway is called Sea Glass. And I'm using a little progress keeper that came with that from Chili Knits. It's a little rainbow. It's really cute. Um, so, yeah, that is my knitting so far. Um, next week, I think I'll be a little bit more normal because I'm hoping I'll be. Well, no, it won't be very normal because I get to have my cataract off. Because I guess I'm having a cataract off. Long story, but it's ridiculous. I have a cataract on my left eye, right eye. 
this eye. And it's pretty bad. My left eye is perfect. 2020 vision. Right eye, can't see anything. So um, I'm having that done next week. So that will be good to maybe be able to see more normally again. That's why I haven't been wearing my glasses. I don't know if I said anything about that. Because the cataract got so bad, the glasses weren't really actually working anymore. The eye doctor was like, you don't need to wear those. Like, because the left eye was just glass. So they're like, this is pointless, you don't need to bother. So I stopped wearing them because why wear glasses if you don't need to? So yeah, that's, um, that's that. This weekend we're supposed to get another snowstorm. Philip is with me this weekend um, because there's a snowstorm coming. Because I'm still recovering, we don't really have anything planned. So I'm gonna wrap this up here because I think I have to do something. I think I have to take David somewhere. So I'm gonna sign off here. I will not be, uh, there will not be a vlogcast next week, um, but I will be back with you in two weeks. Thank you so much for checking this out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this bizarre week <laughs> in my life, and I hope that your new year is off to a really good start, and I will talk to you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye! Mm -hmm.